A local city fights back to help a hometown superhero. Yeah, he came under attack by a real-life villain, but that's not how he or the community is letting the story end. This Superman doesn't fight crime, but he does work for smiles. You can always find him on the corner of Washington Street and U.S. 27. He's a treasured asset to our community. The caped hero, who is really 20-year-old Ray Pitt, is deaf and has autism. Yesterday, he came across a real villain. The sheriff's office says this man, 26-year-old Tyler McCorvey, walked up to Pitt wanting to fight him. Pitt writes McCorvey hit him in his chest and threw his head against a car. Family friend Tara Brady saw the attack and stepped in to help. I saw him imitating Ray's moves. In between imitating them, he would hit him for real. And that's when Ray turned and walked away from him. Deputies say McCorvey took off, but was eventually caught and arrested. And just like any superhero, Pitt fought through the pain and returned to his post. Even so, he's hurting. I mean, he's hurting last night, he's hurting today. But he's not going to back down from what makes him happy. And I know that he knows he brings the community a lot of joy. He seems so much less angry than I am right now. I, we are this. both just steaming How about this do? story. How do you just go up and attack a kid who's just trying to make everyone Don't smile? Don't understand. It. I know. What's wrong with people? Well, since our story aired, we've learned the 7-Eleven where Pitt normally greets fans is now accepting get well cards and small <laughs> gifts on his behalf until he can pick them up. We posted the address and more pictures of this hometown hero on duty. Find it at clickorlando.com. It's under top stories. He has some great moves. Yeah, too. he does.